the last one, Steve. I'm just glad um, uh, you were talking about the uh, scholarship at the moment. Um, I have a question about it. Um, if uh, my question, and then I'll explain why I'm asking. Uh, it's about uh, if the uh, Tibetan government in exile has, uh, uh, is, if there is an awareness about Tibetan contemporary art. Um, why, why I'm asking about it is because, um, um, like for example, if I've, I've spent my 15 years uh, in, in the West, uh, to dance speak English, but normally like getting up with that. Um, so uh, last uh, 15 years, I've noticed that the art is uh, plays a very big role in the in the country, uh, like in the in the, the, the um, in the Western world. And um, so for example, also here, uh, if you want to make a um, campaign or free bed or something, uh, you have to make a logo, for example. It all uh, again is about the design or art, and. Um, and at the moment, the uh, Tibetan contemporary art is um, actually um, um, having, uh, in the global level, um, like the uh, last uh, 10 biggest museums in the world, uh, in the, especially in the United States, uh, the show called Anonymous is going on. And I'm now, uh, this year, in two weeks, I will be there in, in New York, uh, participating in the show, um, the Queen's Museum. Um, uh, I think uh, these kind of shows are like prestigious for uh, for us, for Tibetan uh, artists. Because, um, uh, and also, what we know, um, in the is uh, every artist that we talk to each other, they're all self um, self kind of created. Um, most of them has really worked very hard to, to come to that level, uh, which um, my friend Robert Young. And um, also, we have, we happen to be all in the contemporary art here at the city. So it's very uh, interesting, actually. We have all the different scholarships, but uh, uh, Tibetan children are in, in, in our schools. When you are looking at studies, then you are, you are, like, you are sent to uh, learn craft or, or carpentry or painting. You know? I mean, that's kind of an idea. And, um, for the, for the last 15 years, what I, what I have uh, achieved is uh, a, a job out of it, you know, a professional business, living out of it. So um, I find it quite um, uh, interesting if uh, your excellency, if you have any programs uh, arranged or any, any awareness in the, in the meetings or talks. Uh, the uh, traditional uh, art, Tanka painting and all. And also the contemporary art nowadays is very big uh, in different museums and our um, the artists are gaining uh, recognition and respect. And uh, I know uh, some artists, they sell painting, even the uh, copy of the painting uh, for a couple of thousand dollars, you know, which made me jealous, I thought I should change my profession <laughs> a long time ago. Uh, having said that, yes, uh, all the kudos to uh, our contemporary artists and they're having uh, shows in different museums around the world. And then through art, they are creating awareness uh, and, and aspect uh, of Tibet uh, is also shared with the rest of the world, which is really good. And as far as scholarship is concerned, we have all kinds of scholarship. Um, now, when we say scholarship, actually we don't discriminate uh, per se. If there's a really good artist, but he has to have certain percentage. Now we have reached a stage where we can talk about contemporary artists. Before, our scholarship simply focused for education. Now we have different categories uh, for nurses, uh, for Tibetan uh, language, uh, for Tibetan Buddhism, for Tanka painting, and we can also add to uh, contemporary art. Having said that, having said that, uh, I think it's two-way traffic. Now, because you are meeting all the different artists and making thousand bucks selling a page uh, <laughs> art, and if you donate any number of funds, then we will have a separate category for contemporary <laughs> artists as well. So we will be happy to facilitate, you know, and, uh, uh, and advertise and get uh, an artist to, uh, uh, you know, uh, continue their studies.